Hey girls, in this video, I'm gonna show you 20 plus hidden features of Android 7.0 and 7.1 Nougat. So this video, we're gonna be cover all of the hidden features in the brand new version of Android. Without further delay, let's get started. As we all know that in Android 7.0 Nougat, so double tapping the overview button, we're gonna quickly switch back to the previous apps. What if we are in multi-window mode? So will it work? Yes, it will gonna be work even if you are in the multi-window mode. So simply double tap the overview button, we'll quickly switch back to the previous app. So also the notifications are now really improved. So swiping a gentle on notifications, you're gonna see the settings gear icon. If you swipe it forcefully, it's gonna be remove the notification. Same thing, swiping gentle, you're gonna see the settings gear icon. If you click on settings gear icon, so you can control the notifications and information. Swiping with the force, we're gonna be help to remove the notification from the notification center so also if you think that if you have missed some of the notifications unfortunately you swiped all of them so you can add a notifications lock shortcut onto your home screen so by doing this method this method will going to be help you to see what all the notifications that you have missed simply go and create a setting shortcut so once you create setting shortcuts you can simply open the shortcut app so you're going to see the all of the notification logs it's going to be give you a detailed information that what you have received and what you unfortunately missed the notifications so that's really amazing also the automatic system update so as we know that in android 7.0 so the the software is going to be updated in the background so even just by turning this option like automatic system updates what this is going to do is when you uh, the, the android will going to be download automatic software but in the background so once you reboot your phone so it's going to be boot into the uh, new version of android without any problem And also, as we know that the double pressing the power button in most of the Nexus phones, we're going to be bring up the camera app. So now it is now universal. So it's going to be support for every Android phone which supports the NuGet. So also the new thing that I personally like is the output device notifier. notifier. So if you connect any of the output devices like the AirPods, uh, anything, I mean earpods and the USB OTG. So it's going to be notify you and uh, what are the devices that are connected as an output. So it is a very, really good indication to see. And also now we can broadcast a Wi-Fi with a particular brand. So when you're trying to create a Wi-Fi hotspot through your mobile phone, so in settings, you're going to see the new option called the frequency. Now we can broadcast your Wi-Fi with a particular frequency, 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz, anything like that. So now finally in overview button, if you click on overview, so now you can see the clear all buttons, you know, all of the apps running in the background. So that is really amazing. Previously, it was not there. So you can simply clear all the notifications directly. Also, the turn on the battery from the two goals and uh, you can simply swipe down from the notification center and then you can simply turn on the battery saver without going into the actual settings. Also, with the Android new 7.0 Nougat, we're gonna be comes with the brand new images. I think the Google is the first version and I mean Google Android is the first version that supports the Unicode 9 so you can see the tons of new images added to the Android 7.1 Nougat so it is very easy to use and very convenient to work with also when you are trying to download the APK files or any mp3 files from the browser now you can see the cancel button you can simply cancel it if you don't want to download anything that is really awesome also now in Android 7.0 Nougat, so we can go ahead and set the wallpapers for the individual lock screens. It might be either a lock screen or home screen. You can set to wallpapers to any of the screens. So as you can see, the wallpaper has been activated on my lock screen. So and another feature is uh, in, when you're in the lock screen, swiping from swiping down from the lock screen. I mean swiping down from the clock. And you're gonna be uh, able to control the uh, two goals. You can quickly uh, control the two goals, like turning on the Wi-Fi and everything. That is really amazing. Also, as we notice the in Android 6.4 marshmallows, while holding the settings gear icon, so it's gonna be spin that little gear icon. So in Android 7.0 Nougat, the speed of that settings gear icon is really very fast. Also now in Android 7.1 Nougat, so the terminal emulator is comes at pre-built right inside the system. So all you need to go to developer settings and you can see the terminal emulator and then you can add terminal emulator, it will be visible on your application. So you can try to execute some of the commands if you don't want to. And if you don't want terminal emulator, simply turn off that. You can see the app is disabled from the applications menu. 
And also, the as we know that in Android 6.0 Marshmallow, so Google has introduced the built-in secret file manager to access you to go to the storage explorer. So now the built-in file manager is completely redesigned from scratch. Now you will be able to use it just like the uh, file manager HD by Rhythmsoft software. So you can be simply create a new window and you can also create a new folder. And it is very easy to uh, uh, to uh, work with the new file manager. You can also start order by time, by name, by size. And this is a completely revamped and all of the new features to the built-in file manager. You can quick jump to the any settings. When you're in the settings and if you're trying to go back, so you don't need to go back anymore. So you can simply swipe from the left, you can bring this new shape and you can quickly jump to the any settings right inside the Android standpoint or Nougat. This is my favorite feature, change and DPI. So DPI stands for display per inch. So basically it's gonna be allow you to change the width of your uh, display. So if you go to the developer options, you're gonna find the smallest width option. So if you give the width higher than 320 for most of the smartphones, so everything on your screen will gonna be becomes a smaller. So it is a very, very uh, convenient way to use, especially if you're having the 5.5 inch display. So notice on my screen, as everything is went uh, very small and if you want to change back and simply give the default value 320 it's going to be revert back to the uh, normal width and the last but not the least the Android Nico so basically uh, if you tap the Android version you're going to get the beautiful end logo so if you again hold that end logo you're going to see the cat will going to disappear so basically it's just the game so you're going to simply offer the food for the cats and the cats will going to come and eat your food once the cat uh, eats your food and uh, you're gonna see notifications about which cat is actually eating your food. So I made a dedicated video of this and if you want to check this out, a full review of this, how does exactly this work, I'll leave the card here. And that's it and these are all the hidden features that I discovered uh, in Android 7.0 and 7.1 Nougat. And if you like this video, give a thumbs up and if you don't like this, like the video. And I will see you in my next video. Until then, goodbye.